Moonstone A Hard Day's Night is an action role-playing game by Canadian independent developer Rob Anderson and published by Mindscape for the Commodore Amiga in 1991. Moonstone's gameplay blends several different genres, allowing up to four players to participate in a basic turn-based game with real-time combat for any encounters. It is also notable as one of the goriest games of its time, with some particularly bloody fight and death scenes. You take on the role of a chosen knight who is sent by druids to return the mystical moonstone to Stonehenge. The game supports between one and four players at once, with the computer controlling any knights not controlled by human players as rival NPCs. Gameplay consists of two distinct modes, turn-based exploration and real-time combat. You can also visit the tavern, and although there were no quests or information in there, at least you can gamble your way to make some extra coin. Or, at least I hope it's gambling they're doing. He's enjoying those dice a bit too much. In turn-based mode, each player can move a limited distance on the game's world map, and visit various locations. You will visit the many dolmens that are scattered across the map, these places represent areas guarded by monsters and visiting these dolmens will trigger the second main gameplay mode, real-time combat. Here, you take control of your chosen knight and attempt to defeat the monsters there using sword combat. Defeating the monsters rewards you with treasures from that location. Success will also result in gaining one experience point. These then can be distributed in one of the three abilities, Strength, Constitution and Endurance. The required amount of XP needed to advance fairies according to the number of human controlled characters. This, combined with some powerful weapons that can be discovered or bought, can boost your combat abilities. However, the difficulty of the game increases to compensate. The game's objective is to find the layer that holds one of the four keys. The player who gathers together all four keys, either by finding them or by stealing them from rivals, will have access to the Valley of the Gods at the centre of the map. The knight will have to fight against the Guardian in order to win a Moonstone. The Moonstone corresponds randomly to a lunar phase and grants the knight more power during that phase. The Moonstone must be returned to Stonehenge for the game to be completed. After some days, a dragon will appear and make regular sweeps across the land. In the event that an unskilled player is unfortunate enough to encounter the dragon early on in the game, defeat is almost inevitable. Moonstone was banned in Germany due to gameplay being conceived as extremely violent at the time and failed to find a distributor for the US market. Although, these days, the game has a large cult following and is highly sought after as a collectible. Magazine advertisements for Moonstone purported nearly a thousand frames of animation for two megabytes of monsters and over 60 different painted backdrops. But you know the trouble with beat-em-ups, they're just not violent enough. Controversial, I know, but true. What is the point of beating the biz out of silly little sprites if they just fall down and go... Beep. What we wanted to see on our Amiga was blood and guts. This game had it in abundance. Cult classic comes to mind when you think of Moonstone. All these years after its release, the game still provides great entertainment. Beautiful, fun, addictive and outrageously violent, Moonstone must absolutely be tried by any heroic fantasy game lover as the experience it leaves you with will be remembered long after you turn off the Amiga. I know it did for me. If you agree and enjoyed the video, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified for more Commodore Classic videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.